Hi, I'm David Vance. I'm down in South Georgia uh, this year hunting wild hogs with Gary Fry from Happy Acres Expeditions. I'm going to talk to him a little bit about his operation down here and what he does. So, how do you tell us how you hunt hogs here? Well, David, we're pretty much a uh, free range, uh, archery only uh, hog hunting operation. We hunt uh, over bait sites. Uh, similar to uh, bear hunting that you would do in uh, in the north. Uh, we hunt day and night, uh, depending on uh, whatever the hog movement is. And uh, we uh, we uh, uh, just try to do a hospitable, uh, nice down-home south hunt. That's uh, the best kind. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, we, we take a lot of game camera pictures, uh, trying to uh, narrow down uh, what time the hogs are there so we can get you in the stand at the opportune moment. Now you so, hunt from tree stands and ground blinds? We hunt from a combination of uh, in tree stands and ground blinds, and we're kind of floating back to mostly ground blinds. Our higher success ratios in the past have been out of ground blinds, and uh, uh, you, you tell a little joke, it's, it's pretty much impossible to fall out of a ground blind. Yeah. You can fall into a ground <laughs> you blind. Might fall but, into it, yeah. yeah, so. Uh, but it's a little bit safer, uh, and uh, you get a little better scent control. You have pretty good hog population here too, don't you? We have a, a very well managed hog population. We, we're not out of control here. The most places where you hunt, you are um, you're there for a population control, and we're more at our operation here in a management uh, stage than uh, than most places are. We we pretty much manage our hogs like the other operations manage whitetail deer. Yeah. So, how many hogs do you think you take a year? We we take uh, we we have a management number of about uh, 45 to 50 hogs a year. We usually end up somewhere in between that uh, in that ratio, and we usually run about 35 to 40 hunters a year. Uh, a 40 hunter year would be a great year. I usually run between uh, 30 and 35. Is what I usually. Now my understanding is you're you're booked up way in advance normally. We we do 16 hunts a year. Uh, in a perfect world, we have 16 four-person groups. It doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes we have some two-person and three-person groups. And we also have folks that come and request to be able to hunt by themselves on the whole property. And we have two-person groups that come and request to be able to hunt the whole property. So we try to cater to everybody's needs. Um, you know, a lot of people just don't like to hunt by, their, uh, by themselves. And some people would rather prefer to hunt by themselves. Yeah, just, well, just, so uh, you kind of tailor a hunt to we, we can to a certain degree, yes, sir. Uh, I, the only issue I have is I, I can only hunt a maximum of four people at a time. Yeah. Uh, my operation is just not set up to do any bigger than that. We don't have enough land for that. Uh, and and it's just, uh, plus I'm just a one-man show. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of hard. Work too. It's a lot of work to get four people out. We want to get everybody out uh, at a, at a a normal amount of time so that everybody has about the same amount of time and opportunity in the woods and, and if we had a large group of people you know more than four it'd be too hard to do that one person yeah. so yeah. what about the hogs themselves uh, what what do they look like or what type of you know there's a variety of hogs yes sir we have some of the old razorback they say and then there's some that's just uh, uh, just wild hogs, you know. And we have primarily a, a mix of uh, the original piney wood rooter or the Spanish hog that was brought here in the you know 1800s, early 1900s, uh, 1700s. From we have that that roams here naturally. They've always been here uh, for 100 years, and then of course uh, with domestic hog farming in the 70s here was big in this area. So a lot of what we have uh, it crashed in the late 70s on the price and so a lot of people just turned out their domesticated hogs and that's where we the majority of the population mixed with the Spanish population and that's where the feral hog actually came from so that, that we know today. Now we do have some people that have uh, some of these different preserves have brought in some Russian boar, true Russian boar and we do have a little tiny strain of that roaming on the property. I've seen a couple of ru true Russian boars on the property. Uh, but mainly our mainstay is a, a very mixed breed of uh, feral hog. So, and we have, uh, I like to tell folks, we have color phase hogs, as you've seen uh -huh. on your hunt here. We have pretty much any color of the rainbow, including polka dots. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I so, saw that one polka dot pig. And, yes, sir. So, uh, one kind of a brownish color, and, yep. and there's kind Killed of a really pretty chocolate and, one this, this year, uh, yeah. this, this hunt. So. And uh, several black ones. Yes, sir. And, so, that's nice. And it's, 
bow hunt only? Yes, yes it is. And, uh, and bow hunting is, it, we, well, I get a lot of questions on this. We do, bow hunting considers as traditional. I, I cater to traditional hunters, you know, crossbow and, and compound hunters. So uh, uh, we, uh, that's, that's any kind of archery equipment that you're proficient with, uh, we, we cater to. So, so um, I'll give some information uh, how to contact Gary at the end of the video and uh, anybody interested give him a call and check it out he's got a real nice operation here uh, not a lot of hunters uh, limits the amount of hunters got a good population of hogs and good population of mosquitoes too <laughs> yes sir <laughs> I've been swatting at them for a while <laughs> yes sir yep so bring a thermos sale if you come yes sir the mosquitoes yes, sir. Out, right yes sir well Gary thank you well appreciate everything and yes, had sir. a great time I'm glad you did please come back again oh we will, we will. I always tell folks <laughs> Just like the Lord says, go forth and multiply. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so so uh, come along with us and enjoy some good footage.
but I kind of had to take I thought that brown one was rather pretty. Well, we gave him about five or more minutes he came in. Yeah. I don't think he's anybody else with him. He's a great pick. Big one, did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It. You lose it, you tell me, and I'll help you find it, okay? Then you see. Yeah, then you see. There you go. Go close. Be methodical. <laughs> yeah, you take your time. One spot to another. Right we have to kind of go around. That way. Watch where it's going. That way. I'm losing. <laughs> See what you did. That was an arrow. An arrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it all. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Now which way to go? Mm -hmm. Yep. You see what you see exactly what you think you see. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah, it's gone. I don't see this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See that? <laughs> oh, here we got it. It's a big one. Find <laughs> it. Did a good job, Tanner. Well, Thank you. Ben Nelson. All right, then. Yep. Nelson, good shot. Thank you. Yep, good shot. Got a good down angle on it because that's the entry, so it come out lower than that. Yep. My brother. Excellent job on the tracking. You live closer, I might hire you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is an above average pig. Right there, that is a fine sow. Fine yeah. sow. But that would be too bad to eat. Here can no, that is, right. that is uh, Piggy Bliss right there. Piggy Bliss. Huh? What do you think that thing like? You tell me what you think about it. Well, what do I think it is? See right here? Look where it would come out right there. Yeah. See right in that armpit right there. Yeah. You went dead through the heart. Good. <laughs> that was awesome. See, because ain't no hole there. Yep, see, that's where it come out right there. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had a little bit. That's your pack when you're getting wet, uh, getting bloody. You got to shoot something before you get bloody on the pack. <laughs> There's a thing right there in the middle. As long as the gator flows, that's all we worry about. There you go. 